Hello, royal folks. It's good to see you all here again. This is your regular dose of royal news and analysis. But before we start, please subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon. Thanks. When Queen Elizabeth died in September 2022 and King Charles took over as the monarch of the Commonwealth, many people were curious about what changes he would make. After all, he now has the power to overturn many of the customs, rules, and punishments set forth by his mother. According to reports, a disgraced member of the royal family, Prince Andrew, wasted no time before campaigning to his brother to allow him back into the good graces of the family so he would return to his privileged life as a working royal. While King Charles has made it clear that his younger brother will not be forgiven for his accused crimes, a new report claims that Prince Andrew is planning a fight back. According to an insider, Prince Andrew is going to try and fight his way back into the royal family, his ammunition, that his primary accuser, Virginia Juffer, dropped a case against American lawyer Alan Dershowitz because she may have made a mistake about her sexual assault allegations. Andrew, who settled his own case with Jeffrey to the reported tune of $14 million, hopes to use her mistake to his advantage. Everything has changed and Andrew is determined to fight, a source told the Daily Mail. Photos taken this week prove that while Prince Andrew is no longer a working member of the royal family, he isn't a pariah either. The Duke spent a day this week with his sister, Princess Anne, brother, Prince Edward, and other members of the family. The family was shooting photos at Windsor Estate. However, as a non-working member of the family, he still isn't allowed to attend official royal events. He was absent from the Festival of Remembrance this week and the Cenotaph. According to the Mail on Sunday, shortly before the death of his mother, the Duke met with his brother, who informed him there was no way back to the firm, leaving him bereft. Added a friend, there is a feeling Andrew wants to forge ahead with a new life, but the only person who can agree to that is the monarch. It means these conversations will have to start all over again now that we have a new king. So what do you think guys? Please share your thoughts in the comments. Until then, thanks for watching. We'll see you again with some more interesting news about royal family. Thank you.